Aaron Gillespie here alongside head coach Jake McKinley for the Coaches Show. Um, jump right into a lot to talk about. You're fresh off of your trip to Hawaii last weekend where you picked up three wins, a series victory. Um, can you kind of briefly recap some of the highlights of that trip? Absolutely. I mean, first of all, it was, it was a great trip for our program just to go out there uh, and take you know that, that long of a trip over to Hawaii. It's just kind of new uh, territory for the program. So that was great. And we happened to play well while we were at it um, offensively. We did a nice job. It was a little bit tough to hit under the lights there, um, but overall we just kind of stuck with our approach, found ways to score runs, and, and luckily came out on top in the series. But uh, you know, pitching did a good job. We had some young guys contribute on the mound, um, and you know, kind of everybody that got opportunities uh, to play maximized their opportunities. So uh, overall, great trip for the program, and uh, I think it, it was a great trip in terms of preparing us for our conference play as well. Absolutely. And you touched on the offense a little bit. You hit over 300 as a team, 13 extra base hits. Um, you got some strong weekends out of guys like Garrett Jimiani, Riley Drogas, and Dan Comstock, and, and many more. I mean, multiple, guys had multiple hits. Um, what was working there? I know you said it was difficult to hit under the lights, but what, what were they able to do to overcome that? Yeah, and, and on top of that, the ballpark was huge, uh, and it didn't really travel well. So, uh, you know, for the most part, our guys were just able to, to get their barrel on the ball. And, uh, you know, when we needed when we needed balls to land for us, uh, we kind of got it uh, for the most part of the series so um, again you know it's just it's a it's a tribute to our assistant coaches that have done such a good job of getting our guys ready to hit um, and it seems like every series offensively uh, we're right we're right there so um, overall the, the approaches were good and we didn't allow the elements to, to dictate what we did offensively either we just kind of stuck to our approach and it worked out great. And on the, on the other side, you had eight different pitchers that got in. You mentioned a couple of freshmen, um, two different freshmen picked up wins. Um, under four team ERA, only walked nine batters in 38 or 38 plus innings. Um, what stood out? You know what? Um, we I even said to the assistants before the trip. You know, some of our freshmen, I, I want to be able to throw them into the fire a little bit, um, and and they responded well. C.J. Romero, um, he started game one. He did a nice job there, and then he came out of the bullpen uh, in game four in extra innings and gave us two scoreless innings. Derek Lamensdorf, uh, he came in and got his first career win. Uh, but both those guys, just they, they competed so well. They were in the strike zone. They were changing speeds. Um, so, you know, from a pitching standpoint, uh, it, it was nice to see a couple different contributors uh, this weekend. You know, Cox and Solano, they gave us quality starts. Nate Harris was excellent. Uh, and Ben Lackey made his first career start. He was very good as well. So. Uh, from a pitching standpoint, I mean, I couldn't be happier. We've, uh, we're better than a three-to-one uh, strikeout-to-walk ratio right now. Uh, so as long as we continue to, you know, pound the strike zone and be aggressive there, we should we should be just fine from a pitching standpoint. Uh, so looking forward, a pretty big weekend, um, non-conference play, but against some conference opponents that you'll see later in the year. Um, 25th ranked University of British Columbia, and then three games with Oregon Tech, and you start a five-week homestand. Uh, what do you look for this weekend, and then from that long homestand? Well, I'll tell you what, our hitters couldn't be happier to be back at home. We've played in some pretty big ballparks, so um, I think they're they're happy to be at home. But just overall, I, I think we're pretty tough at home, anyways. Uh, you know, good atmosphere here by the student body, um, and like I said, we, we just we know our park pretty well. But you know, Oregon Tech and BC have both played really well this season so far, um, and I think they're both teams that could be in it all the way up into the end. So uh, you know, we just got to come out and. And stick to the approach has gotten us to where we're at so far. Um, you know, continue to throw strikes from a pitching standpoint and, and put pressure on the opposing defense. Uh, you know, while we're on offense, and if we continue to do that, I think we'll we'll be just fine a bit against anybody. But nonetheless, it's a great test for our guys. Absolutely. Um, so then we'll, we'll jump right into our uh, featured senior of the week. This week it's Matt McHenry. Can you tell me a little bit about him. Yeah, I mean, as as a coach, you hear a lot of times guys talk about mental toughness, um, and he takes it to another level. He's he served our country in the Marines for four years, um, and then he came back and you know, he's a college baseball player now. Um, defensively, he's one of the best center fielders I've ever seen, and offensively, he hit over 400 in the fall. So we get him back this uh, this weekend. He separated his shoulder a couple weeks ago, um, but in true McHenry fashion, he's his recovery time's been about half of what it should be. So uh, we're excited to get him back, but overall, um, he's, he's everything you'd want in a college baseball player. He's a good student. He's a great teammate, um, and to have that that older guy who's who's tough, um, you know, just from a standpoint of communicating with other players, he's he's invaluable. So uh, we're very lucky to have Matt. We'll be very sorry to see him go at the end of the year. Very good, thanks, coach. Good luck.